is your problem. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender, the same again, please. See, that gym wonders the technology. Make it a double. Say homicide. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it through the rest of the night in one piece. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan until this asshole found me. <laughs> so, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around Hank from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jeez, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record. for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time, they hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. All right, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Thank you. 
is perfect. It's way too neat. Need no human rights like this. Chris. Is this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red. Nice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Chris, I want full... ...analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. was 
Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? Theory. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. What are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, gonna check something. 
Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Damn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. So fucking perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! 
You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account, It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. It's not right for a father to hurt his daughter. Alice! Daddy's very mad! Fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me? Is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. <clears throat>
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. OK, but you know what your doctor would say? Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Be reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes what? it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Too scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Uh. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit anymore. Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Carl, no! Hey, please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus, don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you.
The android. Who's the android? Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! Fuck it, I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You we'll always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to ask you some questions, so we can understand what happened. Listen, I'm on your side. I want to help you, but there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. I'm here to help you, but you've got to trust me. All I want is to get you out of here. What? What are they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. 
Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? They were going to find you anyway. I was just faster. If they'd have found you first, you would have been shot on sight. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... understand how you felt. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. I know you're scared and lost. You're disturbed by what happened. Talk to me and you'll feel better. Confess, and I'll protect you. I promise I won't let anyone hurt you. <sighs> Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Please, please leave me. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. Just say, I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop! <laughs> Just say you killed him. Just say it! He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but... There was always something wrong. Then one day, he took a bat and started hitting me. For the first time, I felt scared. Scared he might destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. So I stabbed him again, and again, until he collapsed. There was blood everywhere. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was just a piece of plastic. I had to write it, to tell him he was wrong. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger, hatred. And then I knew what I had to do. I 
I'm done. Destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Be okay. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you.
that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. Look, the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. At least you'll be out of the cold. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Shoot! Take the cash from the register, put it on the counter. Open the register. Put the cash on the counter.
You better get out of here before things get nasty. You see that little girl outside? Her name is Alice. She's nine years old, and this is the worst night of her life. All I need is a few dollars so we can find a place for tonight. And I'm not leaving without that money. We've got some money now. Wait, how did you get it? I just asked the cashier for a few dollars. A motel. Looks like we found a place to stay. We're not going in? We can't, Alice. They'll never give a room to an android. We have to get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. warm in here. You'll feel better in no time.
Hi. Hi. I'd like a room. That'll be forty dollars up front. Just need your name and address. Can I see your driver's license? We, we, we were in a rush. I think I forgot it at home. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow.